Hey, Spencer. So Snicker just told us that you're the game one starter. What are your emotions like right now? How are you feeling? And what was it like when he told you that you were going to be the first one? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just um, known for a little bit, but uh, that was their plan, um, at least how they wanted to line it up. So, uh, you know, it's, it's good to get back into the, the playing mode. I know we've been doing the scrimmages. Uh, I think that's been good. So I think everybody's excited to go out and um, you know, have a packed stadium and, and a good good environment, and play some some meaningful baseball. Spencer, I'm sure you. I know you grew up watching Corey Kluber, and he obviously started his fair share of game ones and important games. I guess how long have you dreamt of a moment like this to to get to start a series for a team like this? Uh, yeah, I mean that's what you that's what you play for. It's what you work for is uh, opportunities in the postseason. Um, you know that's been our goal as a team for the entire season. We showed up to to spring training. Um, you know, we expected to be here, and uh, in some ways, this is when the season starts for us. So, um, you know, we did a lot of good stuff in the regular season. Um, you know, some of that will carry over in some ways, but most of it won't. So, this is sort of a fresh slate, and um, you know, I think we're, we're, like I said, we're excited to play some meaningful, energetic baseball, and uh, you know, um, kind of go out and play our game. Spencer, you uh, you pitched so well against them in that clinching game in Philly and have in your career against them. How much does that help in a circumstance like this with going out there and being, you know, game one starter and so many expectations, that kind of thing? How much does it help having success against them in some big games? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I think any amount of success is good. Uh, when you go into the postseason, you want to feel like you can you can be successful and you've done it before. But, you know, it's, like I said, it's a fresh slate. So, um, you know, they're, they're a dangerous team. They're a very good team. They're, um, you know, they've had, they had a phenomenal regular season. Um, as well, and so, um, you know, we're expecting them to come out and, and fire on all cylinders, and and um, you know we want to be as well. So, um, you know, fortunately, like I said, we got to do the scrimmages, and we feel like we're um, a lot more uh, dialed in than we were last year. Haven't taken time off, and um, you know, I think uh, it's just you know the, the postseason is such an energetic um, environment that uh, you know anything can happen, and, and you know we want to go out and sort of just just stick to our strengths and. And um, regardless of the opponent, so try not to make too much of a, of a, you know, a deal about who we play. It's more so about what we what we do, what we need to do to be successful. Uh, Spencer, last year you uh, you battled the oblique injury in in, uh, in, in September and heading into the postseason. Uh, how important was it for you this postseason to enter enter it healthy? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's always good to be healthy. Um, we have some some limitations for sure still but um, you know Max didn't get to pitch as much as he would have liked going um, to finish the regular season with this blister but um, you know he threw this week and he feels good and and, and um, I think we everybody everybody feels good right now so that's that's great and um, you know having the time off um, I think is, is still beneficial you know some some people talk about getting to play is better than having the time off but I think it's good for us to sort of take a take a little bit of a chance to recover um, and like I said, we did get our reps in this week. So, um, yeah, everybody feels good. I feel good. And we're, we're looking forward to getting, getting it started tomorrow. You mentioned that you feel like the team is more dialed in because of the simulated game. So how specifically do you feel like it just really helped you guys lock in, still being able to play and have the fans and the energy? Can you explain a little bit more about why you think that? Yeah, I think if, if nothing else, it's just we had a similar routine to our days. Um, you know, we played as close to uh, what we expected would be the game time. Um, for the for the DS, and so we were coming to the park, taking BP, having stretched as a team, um, you know, eating here. Uh, it's just the same schedule we would normally have in the regular season or on a postseason postseason day, and so um, I think that that helped sort of bridge the gap between regular season and postseason, not making it feel like it was such a long period of time. Spencer, you know the narrative all season long for you guys has kind of been, as you got through the season, the best team in baseball. This is the team that should end up on top at the end. When you consider the amount of pressure that that puts on you guys going into the postseason, how do you deal with that? Uh, well, I think you embrace it. You know, we wanted this opportunity. Um, you know, I think that uh, we played a lot of meaningful games this year, but down the stretch we, we clinched early and, and um, you know, there were Certainly, some times where it felt like we were just sort of waiting to get to October, and um, and play that meaningful baseball, and and um, you know the way things ended last year, everybody was was itching to get back into this this environment, and have this opportunity. So, 
you know, we're excited and expecting a, a big crowd to come out and have good fans and, and a, a really good environment between two good teams. And so, um, you know, that's that's kind of what we've been looking forward to all year is this this chance to play, like I said, some energetic baseball here in October. I know you mentioned the clean slate, but what what did you learn from last year's postseason start, and how much did that drive you heading forward? Um, I think, you know, it's it's like I said, it's a, it's a very energetic environment. So, um, you know, things happen quickly. The ability to slow the game down and, and um, focus on what you what you need to do to be successful, and um, trying to let the environment dictate uh, your thought process or your approach. Um, you know, we have we have played a lot of games. We have had some success this year. So I think um, everybody's very confident in their, their routines and their preparation. And I think you want to let the uh, adrenaline and the energy of, of the postseason sort of aid in that um, that process rather than uh, try and try and avoid it.